abyss. Okay. Uh, heck, let's just go. Uh, just jump right into something else here. That's uh, just one layer. Let's try this one. Okay, that has three layers, so let's go into that one. Um, again, you'll see the, the familiar interface uh, that I showed you before. But in this case, notice that it knows about all the pages, and they're all cached already. If we look here, they're showing up. But what the VP does is it puts them in gray. It's saying, look, the last time we edited this program, um, that's what it was set to, but something might have changed. So if you really, really, really want to know if anything's changed, click on it, and it actually goes and fetches the information. You can see now it becomes colored. So that means these are up to date with the very uh, real-time information uh, that's actually stored in the K2600. Of course, I can click around here and uh, and change things and, and do whatever I want here. Uh, like this, I could uh, change this to Fun 4. Um, so uh, that kind of gives you an over, overview of, of what the uh, VAST programmer is all about. Um, you can go to here. Oh, I forgot what I was going to show you. I was going to show you here the fact that we're actually going to different layers here. Uh, so that's what's over here is, is the particular layer you want to look at. And you notice that over, everything changes dynamically. The control list updates, the... Uh, this is actually a different view of the same control list information, more of an outline view, um, but it's pretty much the same thing. Um, one of the cool things is the ability to actually use uh, the lookup uh, to look up documentation. You can click on these buttons over here and see that if you want to. Um, I haven't gotten into how how to teach the cur the excuse me how to teach Fast Programmer. Um, how to memorize or learn the different settings uh, that are available for a, d a specific parameter. That's what this LOPS and STD, the standard for standard controls, is all about. So you can, uh, I'll show those in the future demos and so forth, but I just now want to give everybody a feel for, uh, for what the uh, FAST programmer will do for you. Um, like I said, it's actually pretty robust. Um, and uh, I use it all the time. Uh, I have quite a few friends that use it. Uh, so I'm just now kind of getting back into things again and updating the code for the, to the latest version of Java and so forth. And I wanted everybody to, to, to kind of get a chance to, to look at it and kick the tires a little bit. Um, one of the things I haven't talked about, well, actually, let me just show you that this works. Of course, one of the other things you can do here is, um, excuse me, uh, one of the things you can do here is um, actually go into setup mode. And actually, VP runs a little faster uh, normally. Uh, right now, I've got my, uh, my audio processing software running and my screen capture software on my desktop running that's sucking a little bit of CPU. But uh, you'll see that uh, when you run VP for yourself. Um, but you can also uh, edit setups, and you can edit most things in VAST Programmer, and it works the same way as editing programs. Um, another thing that's useful is going over here and using the quick access mode, and you can see that uh, you know I can go over here and uh, you know click on things, and it works just like a normal click, uh, quick access mode does under Kurzweil. One of the cool things that I haven't gone into now because it's really incomplete is this, when you're not in the edit mode, is this lower section of the panel. Um, what it really enables you to do is go in and create custom panels that change dynamically based on what program you have selected. Um, I don't have any good demos of that right now, and I'm actually going to change this because some of it's uh, not intuitive at all, and um, I really built it for me and uh, not for other people to be using. So I'm going to go clean all this up, and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's a pretty cool feature, and uh, we'll talk about, talk about it later at a future demo. 
but anyway, I hope this kind of gets everybody going. Um, we're, we'll hopefully uh, be releasing a new version of VP soon that's uh, working well and uh, on all the, the popular platforms that people use. Uh, and um, just please uh, send me feedback either on the VAST programmers uh, group or uh, you can send me feedback on Mastering VAST uh, forum. Um, I'm on there a lot as well. Uh, good wishes, everybody, and um, I hope uh, VP is a useful tool for you. Thanks a lot.